2024 starts with such a devastating betrayal towards human creators when companies just started replacing them with AI and losing their every goodwill. People train AIs with artists' art styles and then resell them for profits, making it as if it's an original human work. They even got credit on movies. Even the voice actor union wants to replace actors with AI. I mean, dang, if the unions are screwing you over, you have one really corrupt industry. The most egregious one was when Wacom and other digital tablet manufacturers got caught in 4K with AI art. In Wacom's case, the arts were bought in Adobe stocks without them filtering the results so that they're not AI generated. I mean, okay, they're saving time buying stock cart, but they didn't filter them so that they're, you know, human made. These same Red Dragon artworks were removed from Adobe stock. Wacom apologized, yes, but their apology basically states, yes, we bought the art, but we didn't know the Adobe stock was AI. So yeah, no apologies. That's just several instances of AI being used to betray creators. It's a cost-cutting time saving measure that was done to make banks as time is money and money should keep on rolling. This next supla will make you want to punch whoever thought this was a good idea. <sighs> George Carlin is one of the most influential comedic geniuses of all time, but unfortunately, he passed away. So how do you keep his legacy and make sure that his life goes on? Freaking AI, of course. His daughter spoke out against it, but their defenders are disgusting. This guy said AI is art and that his daughter is being greedy for not spreading art. Who cares? That's still her dad, and she has more things to say than whatever you're saying. Then he accused her of being concerned about the money. No, she's not. How dare you? But it gets worse. Are you not aware of South Park? You do know that they allowed everyone to redistribute their shows for free, right? No, they don't. That's called piracy. Don't get me wrong, I support it, but the owners certainly don't. See the OpenAI lawsuit. It's nice to know that AI bros are just as brainless as crypto bros when it comes to copyright. That's just one example on how these greedy bastards will use AI to desecrate the corpses of talented artists. I'm sure as content creators, you're all depressed already, so I won't be showing you guys any more depressing AI hoopla. Not in this video, at least. I will, however, show you some very funny AI hoopla. No, seriously, check this out. AI is a tool, and it can be used for good and bad. I don't use ChatGPT, especially when sometimes they straight up tell you, hey, just Google the solution. Not very helpful, ChatGPT. This is why Bing is better. One thing is for sure, you should only use AI as assistance and not as a copy and paste template. Take a look at this amazing chair called, apologies, but I'm unable to assist with this request. It goes against OpenAI use policy. Or this drawer named, I'm sorry, but I cannot fulfill this request. It goes against OpenAI use policy. Or this hose name, etc., etc. My favorite one is when asked to describe what the product can do, someone just copied and pasted the template and did not fill in the blanks. Feature one, sorry, I can't help you. Feature two, efficient at something, I guess. The way people use AI has been an utter disgrace to my faith in humanity. And while I can produce a lot of outrage for it, sometimes you just have to sit back and laugh about how lazy these hacks are. And that's enough AI hoopla for today. Before we move on to other hooplas, let's thank all these wonderful people for bringing you this video. You guys are fantastic. If you want to see your names among these legends, then check out the links down below. Just one dollar and you have supported this channel immensely. Seriously, thank you so much. And now let's get to the next hoopla. This one involves a choosing beggar. Amazing. Let's get into it. This person just won a giveaway of a PS5 and Modern Warfare 3, the remake, not the original, so my condolences. But instead of being grateful, they asked for a PS Plus subscription. Sorry, but the deal is that you get a PS5 and Modern Warfare 3, not a PS Plus. Compared to the console, a PS Plus is not the most expensive thing. And then he came in with one of the funniest and most entitled choosing beggar text I have ever read. Damn, I guess I'll die of boredom then, cause I got nothing to play on the PlayStation. Way to live up to the meme, buddy. One game, one game. I don't know why. If someone wins an Xbox controller, then you would have to buy him a whole Xbox or what? No, kid, Xbox controllers can be used for other platforms as well, like the PC and even the phone. But you are clearly an entitled choosing beggar kid, so I award you no PS5 and Modern Warfare 3, and may God have mercy on your soul. Just get a PC instead. And speaking of PCs, I get that some people can't do PC gaming and prefer console gaming. I get the comfort, the stability, the ease, and all that. But what I don't get is how some people just spread lies and misinformation about this platform. This is quite a gripe to make. 
I used to mainly be a PC gamer, but the cost of upgrading every six months killed it for me. No average PC gamer upgrades every six months, especially if you're using a gaming laptop. You don't upgrade that every six months unless you're freaking rich. Constantly having to get a new and better graphics card, RAM, etc. to be able to play the newest games. You do not need to constantly upgrade your GPU, RAM, and any other PC components, especially if you're not playing anything more demanding than Valorant, CS2, The Finals, or heck, Roblox. I just couldn't, when I could get a console that is good for a much longer time. So is the PC, bro. Heck, it's probably even longer, too. My gaming laptop still works to this day. There are a lot more games to the PC than on a console. I mean, a couple hoopas ago, this PS5 winner complained that they had nothing to play on the PS5. Don't repeat the same mistakes they made. Console peasants spreading misinformation is one thing, but there's another rivalry that really needs to be discussed. Like PCs and consoles, there's really no clear winner. It depends on personal preference. Unlike PC and consoles, apparently if you prefer one over the other, that just makes you more disagreeable. This rivalry is seriously getting pettier. Apparently, if you have an Android, it signals to women that you are disagreeable. Well, yes, but that's just the essence of every relationship. People are different by nature, and when they clash, they will totally disagree. But I guess Android is the first telltale sign, right? God forbid people use phones with more power being given to the user than the corporation. Android users will also lecture about breaking board game rules. Man, women, we will lecture you about that, so have some respect. If you won't change something as simple as your phone after how- Hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. Something as simple as changing your phone? How rich do you have to be to say all that with a straight face? Changing your phone is not a simple thing. Instead of us changing our phones, how about you download apps that are cross-platform compatible and stop getting bothered with green text? You will never allow her feminine energy to flourish. I love how you imply that iPhones are feminine. More reasons to chose Android for us, guys. And so the rivalry between Android and iOS continues the dating scene where rich women prefer using iPhones and if their potential mates can't keep up, I guess they'll just have to swipe left. But at least the rivalry is real and not fiction made by some writer. Just like our next hoopla, this event smells a lot like BS. This person is panicking because his computer science teacher is demonstrating how to open up a virus inside a virtual machine. But then the virus breached through the virtual machine, break the teacher's PC, and somehow infected every student in the class. Okay, I know a thing or two about computers, I've used virtual machines before, and this scenario is about as likely as a tiger locked in a cage and driving the truck it was in to turn everyone into roadkill. Somehow this virus breached through Wi-Fi and and only infects the class and not the whole freaking school. Somehow we don't hear any news of entire classes or computers being infected. But hey, assuming that the whole thing happened, what are you gonna do? Is asking Reddit seriously the best course of action? No, it's not. The moderator locked the thread and asked the OP, hey, take it up to your school, dumbass. Other subreddits mocked the post, so yeah, don't post this sort of BS on the net, my dude. This one was invented by a writer. And that's all for the video today. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more. Don't forget to check out my APB show channel, link down below. Go subscribe. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.